Patient proofs will usually start with a more complicated side, so in this case, it would be our right-hand side. Okay? The first thing is change all the permutations into the standard factorial form by using npr equals to n factorial n minus r factorial. Okay, yeah, so the top part factorial, and then the difference between the top and bottom factorial. Yeah, so the first one, n minus 2 pr, it will just be n minus 2 factorial, and the difference between n minus 2 and r, it will just be n minus 2 minus r or factorial. Okay, plus 2r is a constant, we we'll just put it at the front. Yeah, and then we have n minus 2 pr minus 1, which is n minus 2 factorial, n minus 2 subtract r minus 1, okay, and all factorial. Okay, plus the last one, r and r plus 1, that's another two constant, we just put it at the beginning. Okay, and then uh, it will just be n minus 2 factorial, the difference between the top and bottom, which is n minus 2 minus r minus 2 factorial. Okay. Yeah, and simplify a little bit if we can. Uh, minus 2 minus 1, this just become n minus r minus 1 factorial. And this one, we just want to rewrite it a little bit. It would be n minus r minus 2 factorial. And the last one, minus 2 minus 2, they all canceled. So it become minus r factorial. Okay, minus r factorial. Yeah, so everything is neat and tidy. We'll just copy them down. Okay, copy them down. So we finalized everything, we just copied everything down. And when we have different fractions add up together, we need to make sure they have the same common denominator. Okay? We need to make sure I have the same common denominator. Okay? Yeah, we need to make sure they have the same common denominator. So from the three denominators, let's have a look at their relationships. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three denominators. Okay. Uh, this one has the most of the terms. Okay, this one has the most of the terms because the last one includes the previous two. Okay, the last one includes the previous two. Yeah, we can write the last one in terms of the first denominator, and we can also write the last one in terms of the second denominator. Okay, this is exactly the same as. 6 factorial, okay, this, this question is exactly the same as given us 4 factorial here, 5 factorial here, 6 factorial here. Okay. So what's 6 factorial? 6 factorial it is 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 factorial. Okay. And what's 5 factorial? You know, how do we write 6 factorial in terms of 5 factorial? 6 factorial we can write it as 5, I'm sorry, 6 multiplied by 5 factorial. So you can see 6 factorial include the previous two terms. Similarly, n minus r factorial include the previous two terms. Okay, include the previous two terms. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at how it is combined together. Yeah. So the first one, okay, if we start with n minus r factorial, we can just decrease this by 2, which is n minus r multiplied by <coughs> n minus r minus 1 and then n minus r minus 2 factorial okay. yeah. so you can see if we have the red circle multiplied by two more terms we get to n minus r factorial and similarly the this one okay the deep blue terms we can also write n minus r factorial in terms of deep blue terms which is n minus r multiplied by n minus r minus 1, all factorial. Okay. So just based on this, we can make everything exactly the same as n minus r factorial. Okay. For the first term we have, which is n minus r minus 2 factorial and n minus 2 factorial. 
All we need is an extra two terms. It will become our wanted n minus r factor. So we just need to multiply both top and bottom by n minus r, n minus r minus 1. Okay, that's what we need for the first term. And then these three collapse together, <coughs> it would just be n minus r factorial. Okay. Now let's look at the second term. Our second term, let's quickly copy down the original term first. As long as we multiply by another n minus r, you can see the bottom two terms will collapse together immediately become uh, another n minus r factorial. Okay. And then the last term, we can just directly copy that one down. Okay, so directly copy it down. Everything is exactly the same now. They have exactly the same denominator. We can just combine them together and add up the numerators. Okay, add up the numerators. So it will just be n minus r factorial, okay. n minus 2 factorial, n minus r, n minus r minus 1, plus 2r, n minus r factorial, n minus 2 factorial, n minus r. <coughs> and then plus r, r minus 1, n minus 2 factorial. Okay. And then you probably already realized that we all have an n minus 2 factorial. Right? Yeah, so why don't we just take them to the front and then simplify them? Right? Yeah, take them to the front. And take this one at the front as well. Okay, so we have n minus two factorial, and then n minus r factorial. Okay, n minus two factorial and n minus r factorial. Okay, now the rest of the terms that I just combine them together. Okay, so the first one, this two multiplied by three, there will be six terms in total. Okay, it would be n squared. Okay, it will be n squared minus r n minus n minus rn plus r squared and then plus r okay that's the six terms and then the deep blue 2r and n minus r it would be plus 2rn minus 2r squared okay. and then the last term which is here plus r squared minus r any terms we can cancel Plus 2rn minus rn minus rn cancelled. Okay, cancelled. Minus 2r squared plus r squared plus r squared cancelled. Plus r minus r cancelled. Cancelled. Okay. So in the end, we just have n squared minus n. What's n squared minus n? That's just n minus 1 multiplied by extra n. And then if you have a look at the same thing up here again, n minus 2 factorial. Okay, n minus 2 factorial, n minus 1, and n, they all collapse together, become an n factorial. Okay. So what's n factorial divided by n minus r factorial? That's just npr. This is the left-hand side we're trying to prove at the beginning.